Edit Clone Effects in Final Cut Pro. What's up guys? I had this idea to replicate different clone effects that I saw on YouTube and Instagram. Let's start with the first one. For this effect I shot myself standing and watching nice ocean waves and that is our main shot for this effect. And then I just started walking in front of a camera with different distances. Ok, let's take this first clip and apply magnetic mask to it. Select our object with the dropper and click Analyze. And repeat it to the rest of the clips. Ok, now we have all clips ready. Drag the first clip on top of the main clip. Now create a compound clip of it. Open Retime Editor and change speed to around 1000. Or which one is best in your case. Now duplicate it as many times as you like. Looks ok. Now open Effects Browser, look up for Directional Blur and apply it to our clip. Set the mount to around 200. Now copy Directional Blur and paste it to other clips. Ok, not bad. Let's add an adjustment clip on top so it will separate bottom layer from the top one. Disable it and drag second clone on top. Create compound clip, speed it up and duplicate it to your liking. You can try mix different speed on the same clone. Ok, now apply directional blur to the second clone. Set amount to your liking and paste it to all your second clones. Let's see what we have. Let's grab our adjustment clip separator and continue to add more clones. I will speed it up a little so it's not taking so long, ok? Ok guys, I already made 6 clones layers that are between me and camera. Now let's add clones that are behind. So grab a clip. Let's duplicate our main clip, apply magnetic mask, cool, now speed up your clones between these two layers so clones can walk behind. Duplicate them as much as you want and apply directional blur. Ok guys, I already positioned all clones that I want, let's take a look. Ok, now we need to apply some effects to our image. Create an adjustment clip and apply radial blur to it. Set amount to 8.5 and add mask. Create a shape like this and make it invert. Cool, create one more adjustment clip and apply prism effect. Set amount to 5, create a mask, eight. I will make it 8 instead, expand the mask and make it invert. Now let's add a directional blur. Set amount to 55, create a mask like this, and make invert as well. Great, we are almost done. I will just grab my color preset that I made before. And that's it. Push wave effect. So I have a clip of me walking to the camera in slow motion shot on 60 frames per second. Also me jumping like a crazy guy with several takes. Also shot with 60 frames per second and slowed down to 40%. Now we need to slow it down even more with optical flow. Change speed to 20, go several frames forward 
and hit Shift plus B to add a point. Now drag the second part of the clip to 5%. Go to Retirement Options, Video Quality and choose Optical Flow and it will be buttery smooth. If you don't choose Optical Flow it will look like this. Huge difference. Now apply magnetic mask, select your object and click analyze and repeat this step to other clips. Ok, good. Now decrease the feather of magnetic mask so the edges are not visible. Cool, now drag the first clone on top of the main clip, decrease scale and set position to your liking, and create a small upward motion for the clone. Let's disable it for a second and duplicate our main clip, apply magnetic mask, Cool, so now our top clone can fly behind our main object. Now drag the second clone and position it to your liking. And position the rest of the clones as you like. I will speed it up so you don't fall asleep, ok? Ok, now in all clones positioned as I like, let's stream these clips and take a look what we have. Cool, now we need to apply some effects to our clone. Drag and drop Gaussian Blur, set amount to 5. Now drag a color board and I'm gonna make it a little blue so it doesn't look the same as our original guy. Now look up for underwater effect, set size to around 1, speed to 4 and the refraction to 11. So now we have this wavy effect on our clone because of the main push wave that we will apply later. Now copy these effects and paste it to other clones. Change blur amount and wave size depending on clone's distance. Ok, now let's add our push wave effect. Open effects browser and look up for droplet. Go to the first frame, set intensity to 22, radius to 120 and thickness to 125 and create keyframes. Go to the last frame and set intensity to 80 and radius to 600. Cool, now create an adjustment clip and place it below our main object. Apply radial blur to it, set amount to 9 and create a mask. Select invert mask. Now let's add in one more adjustment clip and apply prism effect. Set amount to 5, create a mask and make it invert. And one more effect, it will be directional blur. Set amount to 60, create a mask and make it invert as well. Not bad. Now you can color grade your footage, but I will just apply my already made preset. I used the Enhancer Pro and applied a vignette to it. 
and that's it. Clone run. That's me standing in front of a camera and that's two clips of me running from the same point to the left and right. Let's duplicate our main clip, apply magnetic mask, mask your object and hit analyze. Cool, now let's mask out our clones. It would be great also to include shadows, but it's impossible in my case. Good, now drag the first clone in between our two main clips, so the clone will start running from behind. Open FX browser and apply shape mask to our clone. Position the mask the way it will hide our clone from the left side. Now let's add a drop shadow effect. Set values to your liking. Ok, now duplicate our clone 4 or 5 times and place it like this. Ok, let's add a second clone from the left. Copy and paste all effects from the right clone and change mask position. Cool, now we can duplicate our left clone. Hold Option key to duplicate. Select our clone and create a compound clip. Open Effects Browser and drag Directional Blur Effect. Set Amount to 6 and change color a little so it doesn't look the same as our main object. I will copy and paste drop shadow effect to our main guy. And I would also like to add a little bit of blur to it. Let's decrease a feather just a bit. Great, now create an adjustment clip and apply radial blur to it. Set amount to around 8. Create a mask like this and make it invert. Create another adjustment clip and add a prism effect. Set amount to 10. Create a mask and make it invert. Let's decrease the amount to around 8, cool. And last effect is directional blur. Create a mask, make it invert and set amount to 50. Great, now you can color grade your footage, but I will just apply my already made preset like in the previous example. Let's change the color of our clones a little bit more. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. See you in the next video.